So, here we are. This is day 10 past um, 3 day transfer. And uh, we had some brief glimmer of hope this morning essentially when uh, we took a look at the uh, test strip. I saw a very, very, very faint line. And of course, natural reaction was like, oh man, this is awesome, very happy, you know. So then we proceeded to take several others. Now, during that same time, wife was going to the bathroom a lot. She was just peeing like every 10, 15 minutes, it was, or whatever it was. It was, it was not like normal, put it that way. And um, I thought, you know, it'd be a bad idea, but we did it anyway. So out of three tests we tried, um, you know, from different makes, different manufacturers, whatever, you know, those little cheap ones, whatever. <sighs> All three essentially failed. And I was like, you know what, most likely has to do with the fact that, you know, just even peeing so much and just diluted it. So she went out and about and I stood home with Tusa for around the house and uh, when she came back, we were talking, talking, she didn't want to, but I kind of gave us to do it again anyway. But I kind of said it probably also would be a bad time because you just came home less than an hour ago and you had to go into the bathroom again. And so she was like, you know, we're waiting for a pizza delivery. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she tested it again and unfortunately both were negative. No signs whatsoever. So now, you know, she took a brief nap because I had to give her an injection. And then it's around no, close to 11 o'clock right now. Maybe 10.40 ish, whatever. I had to give her an injection. And, uh, she, you know, I woke her up because, like I said, she took a nap. And, well,. You know, I asked her, well, you could try it now, but she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Now, what does that mean? I'm not sure what it really means. Maybe it was false positive. Uh, maybe the, this is the VAP strip from the test. Um, but to that end, though, with the other tests, there's no VAP strips anywhere. It was just, just that one test. Now tomorrow we actually have um, the actual beta test itself early in the morning. There's still that little thing in the back of my mind. Saying, still a chance, still a chance, John, still a chance. But I'm not sure. I mean, just before this video, and just actually before. I gave her shot, maybe her last shot at that. I um, was crying pretty heavily, actually, pretty heavily. You know, not understanding why. It isn't so much the fact that you know, okay, cool, we could try again. It's so much time, energy. I mean, too much of our time, energy of actually doing the injections every single day. And this is the money aspect of it all. I mean, unfortunately, I don't have this money, or I won't have this money for quite a long time. So the next time, even if we think about trying, if this doesn't really work, um, I'm well, I'm 32 now, so I'm gonna be like probably maybe 34, 35. I don't know. This is my problem. This is my big issue. Unfortunately, just a whole entire problem. It's sad. It really is sad. Because you want something to work so much and so heavily that it's just it doesn't seem to be a too good eight cell embryo. It's not, not eight cells. Yeah, eight cells. Not too good eight cells. Transferred. It isn't so much of me, you know, not wanting to do it again or this thing was a failure. 
It's unfortunately not easy for me to do it again. I had to have surgery, essentially, just to get it done, just to get enough, a brief glimmer of hope enough, so we could actually take care of some of her eggs. And that's the dilemma I have. That is unfortunate, the dilemma. Would I like to try again? Sure. I would love to try again. But I'm thinking this is, this is like the end of the world. And it may or may not be. I'm not sure. The test in the morning will definitely, definitely try. Try out and test my patience and everything else. This is definitely a test of my faith. It's like I have anger in every single location I can think of. Anger and angry at the world. You know, angry at everything. I mean, this is going to the whole entire religious subject type of thing, but why not? Am I angry at God? That's a very good question. I hate to say it, but I possibly am. Um, can I be? I don't know. For all this stuff that he's given us, and, you know, for our miracle blessed child that we had before this, I can be mad at that. On the same token, though, you know, you you want to grow, you want to proceed. But sometimes you just can't, I guess. And I think this drives me really up the wall, which I don't understand it. Quite a few people. Not just one, two. We had like literally five people. Five people say to us, I had a dream that you were going to have another kid. It was me a girl. So, I'm like thinking to myself, now anyway, is it this particular cycle? Is it another cycle? Or it could have been the opposite. But then again, why did I mention actually having a particular sex? Not, you know, you're going to have a baby. You know, or, I don't know. Anyway. I guess I can make another video tomorrow. We'll see. I'm not even sure if I'm going to at this point. I mean, bad enough, I'm pretty much... Hanging by a loose thread. So let's... Anyway. I guess that's enough for now. Have a good night.